Welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be getting ready. I'm gonna be doing a look that I posted a picture on Instagram last week and I got a lot of really great feedback. One of the questions I got in particular was what was on my lips? So I thought I'm gonna recreate this look because it's actually a little different than um, my typical kind of warm neutral look and it's also using the Carly Bible palette and I promised you guys more looks with that palette. So let's go ahead and get started. You might notice that my hair is different today, very, very full. I just washed it. I'm testing the Dyson Airwrap and I'm not going to give too much away because there is a video coming on that product soon, but um, let's just say that I was fully prepared to return that product, to be honest. I wasn't sure how I felt and today's hairstyle completely changed my mind. So stay tuned. There will be a video coming soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to start by applying a little more moisturizer and I'm opening a brand new Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Cream. Uh, this is one of my um, moisturizers in rotation. I love it for daytime because it's super lightweight and it actually is really interesting because it has a um, kind of like a, not like a powdered finish, but it, it, it really absorbs and almost, it, it's just perfect for underneath makeup because it really does um, absorb quickly into the skin so that you can apply makeup without it feeling like too tacky. I love this moisturizer for morning. I'm gonna apply this all over the face just to kind of rehydrate my skin. I have been running around for a couple hours and my um, skin just needs a little refresh. So I'm gonna put that all over and down my neck. So next I'm gonna apply my Colleen Rothschild Complete Eye Cream underneath my eye. This is my favorite eye cream um, for a while now. It's a great eye cream for day and night. Um, it's rich in emollient, so it really does hydrate under the eye. That area tends to be thinner skin, drier, driest part of our face, but it also works well under makeup. So it's not too rich and creamy that you can't apply makeup shortly after. Um, Colleen Rothschild is partnering with me to sponsor this video, and I wanna let you guys know that they're having their friends and family sale right now through the 27th, which I think is one of their best sales because it's 25% off site wide. So you really can shop all your favorite products and get 25% off, so it's pretty awesome. Before we dive into the makeup, I wanna recommend a couple other products for you um, that I love. If you've been watching my videos, I'm gonna breeze through these because you hear me rave about these all the time. It is the Smooth and Shine Serum, which I used in my hair today. Uh, in fact, I am almost out of it. I love the hair mask. I also use that today, but I pretty much use that as my conditioner. Now, I don't condition my hair uh, more than twice a week. I think if I were to do it every day, it might be too thick of a product, but it's definitely a product that you can incorporate in at least once or twice a week. Um, and then another product I am um, gonna reintroduce into my skincare, because it's been a while since I've used it, is the Retinol Supreme Eye Serum. So I'm gonna use this at night um, in replacement of my complete eye cream. And you can actually layer these. If you wanna put the retinol first, kind of give your skin some time to absorb that and then layer a little bit of the eye cream if you like that thicker, your product. Um, but definitely check out that promotion if you are a Colleen Rothschild fan. I will list other videos where I've talked about her products because I have a lot of great recommendations. Everything will be in the description box for you. Okay, so let's get started on skin. So I'm actually going to recreate the look that I had on in that Instagram photo. And that day I was wearing the La Mer uh, foundation. And let's see, let's see, all of my brushes are dirty today. So we are going to dive right in here and grab some clean ones. Okay, so this is the refer brush and I believe it's the P11A. So I'm going to apply this foundation in the center, start in the center of my face and just kind of pull it down, just buff it into the skin. I've been wearing this a lot lately. This with the Coke and Doe foundation have been my kind of go-to foundations lately. It has been a little cooler, a little drier temperatures. We've still had some hot days here in Austin, but we are definitely venturing into the fall crisper weather. And so it's time to kind of reach for my more hydrating, more natural, more glowy foundations. And this is definitely one. I also love how long wearing this is. For being such a natural glowy foundation, it is so long wearing. I really, really love it. So this brush is uh, nice for like precision foundation. It's smaller than kind of the normal foundation brushes that I use, but it's really soft. So you can get great coverage and then you can kind of blend it out in the area that you're working. If you are working with a more natural to medium-ish, medium-ish, is that just a word? I just made it up, uh, foundation. I think this brush is really, 
really great. If you're working with a more full coverage foundation, what I'd probably do is like use a brush like this to kind of apply it and then maybe buff it out with a, or blend it out with a um, foundation brush. Or if you're working with a foundation that dries really quickly and doesn't give you a whole lot of time, uh, you'll just wanna work a little quickly to get all the coverage you want. Like, and, and when I say coverage, I don't mean like coverage, I mean like spatial coverage. Okay, oh, so pretty. This foundation is so, so nice. I really like it. I think it's a very special foundation. I mean, as it should be, right? But it is a special foundation. All right, and because the size of this foundation brush, I'm actually gonna use this for my concealer too, which is great. It's a double duo, double duo purpose. Uh, I'm gonna use the number seven Lift and Luminate Concealer underneath the eyes. And I have the shade Light Medium. And I'm just gonna kind of really concentrate this in the inner corner of the eye. This foundation leans more on the lighter side, as in not full coverage, um, but it's not real sheer and natural either. I think it gives you just the amount of coverage that most of us need. If you have really dark under eye circles, you're probably gonna need something with a little more coverage or you'll need to use a color corrector before this if you like to really cover that. But it'll give you a nice little brightening under the eye if you wear it solo. I like the consistency of it too because it is thin and it blends out really easily. It looks hydrating under the eye, doesn't look dry, it doesn't like magnify fine lines or any texture there. And this brush is really nice because I'm actually able to get right underneath my eye and kind of go back and forth on my lid with it too. Okay, perfect. Now I am gonna set everything really quickly and I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 102 brush and I'm gonna use the La Mer powder. And we are just gonna take a light veil of this. Okay, and I'm just gonna work that into the brush and then I'm just going to kind of lightly dust it all over the face and even underneath the eyes. Okay, then next we're gonna go ahead and create some dimension on the face and I'm gonna use my bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light by Hourglass. And we are just gonna grab our BK Beauty 103 bronzer brush for that. And I'm just gonna kind of dust this onto the cheekbones and into the hairline. Perfect. All right, and then I'm gonna kind of dust it down the center of the face. As you can tell, because the brush is so large, I'm not really contouring the nose at all. I'm just giving a little more color there, kind of making that bronze look more natural. If I just concentrated my bronzer here, it wouldn't look natural, right? Because the sun hits the face directly. So we, we're gonna have some of that color kind of sweeping all across the face. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in while we work on eyes. Okay, okay as my hair just like crazy volume, I kind of love it. I'm kind of loving this style today. More to come soon. Okay, so I'm gonna just brush my brows in place. They are a little crazy and unruly. I'm due for a brow appointment on Friday, actually. Then I'm gonna go in and fill them in, and I'm using my NYX Precision Brow Pencil. The girl I go to for brows is so busy. If you miss an appointment, you're like, you gotta wait until your next one, which, which I book my appointments eight weeks apart, so I missed my last one, so it's actually been like 16 weeks since I've seen her. Isn't that crazy? Crazy, crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of work that into the brow. I am gonna put a little bit of brow gel in my brows because they are kind of, I don't have a lot of brows, but the brows I do have are just like grow in opposite directions. They're kind of crazy. So I'm putting a little brow gel to tame them down a bit. Okay, perfect. Now let's move on to eyes. So before I start eyes, I am definitely going to prime my eyelids. I always do that. I feel like it's kind of a must, non-negotiable for me. Without eye primer, my shadow will not last. It doesn't matter how great of shadow it is. It's not even the... Um, fault of the shadow really. It really is that my uh, lids, you know, I have slightly hooded eyes when I'm looking directly at you. It's hard to tell with my lashes, but my, my lid folds over a bit. So it just heats up, my skin gets oily, it just warms up, and so it's going to break up any makeup that you have there. But putting a primer there is like a barrier really does help. So I'm just gonna kind of blend this all over the eye, and I'm using the Real Techniques brush, the Deluxe Crease Brush. I think this is like the perfect brush for eye primer or cream eyeshadow. Even this would be great for concealer too. I personally think it's a little too fat for a crease brush, but I think it's great for creamy products around the eye. Okay, so for that look, I got so many compliments on that look, and I actually just used really these two shades were the standout here. Um, this first shade in the shade Libra, which is kind of like a patina taupe shade. It actually reminds me a lot of the shade Satin Taupe by MAC. And then I put this shade on top of it, Mandala, which is really, really beautiful and unique. Oh, let's see if we can focus there. 
you can see that color. It's like this iridescent pinky purple with like this, almost like this reflex of blue in it. It's so beautiful. Um, and then in my crease, I use the shade Bible, which is just like this really pretty, you know, dusty mauve shade. And then of course, for my brow highlight, I use the one good brow highlight color in the palette. And we are gonna start there. So I'm gonna go and grab the shade Bare. It is just kind of like your basic brow highlight color, a little ivory. I, I really love Love, I say this all the time, but I do really love her palettes, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, because they, they always put such a great brow highlight in. They give you a good matte shade that's bright enough to highlight the brow. I'm gonna kind of really load that up. I want that highlight to be real bright. Okay, then next I'm gonna work in my crease and I'm gonna use the Wayne Goss 16 brush. This one's a little dirty, but that's okay. And I'm gonna grab Bible, which is that kind of dusty, mauve color. And I'm gonna work this back and forth into the crease, creating a nice shape there. I'm kind of rounding it out a little bit so it kind of rounds my eyes, makes it more wide-eyed. And then I'm gonna pull it down to the lash line. I like this brush a lot because it has a really nice tapered tip to do that. I'm gonna pull it down, pull it down. Okay, pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm gonna go and do the other side. So next, I'm gonna apply my lid color and that's when I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, Libra. And I'm gonna use the side of a Refer 01 brush, which is like a good kind of basic crease brush, but it has a flat side so you can use it for the lid or the crease. And because her shadows tend to have a little bit of fallout, I'm just gonna kind of lightly pat it on a paper towel that I have here. You could also pat it on your hand. And I'm just going to really press that onto the eyelid all the way to the inner corner. This color is pretty buildable. You can sheer it out and get a very, very soft taupe shade or you can pack it on and get quite a like purple effect from it. It's really, really nice. It's real versatile because you can kind of, depending on what shade you pair it with, it'll kind of like, it's like a chameleon. It'll kind of morph into that shade. Um, now, next I'm gonna go in with the shade Mandela. And I'm really just gonna layer this right on top of what we just applied. I'm just gonna layer it right on top just to give it a fun little, like more purpley vibe. It's a subtle, subtle change, but it's there. It's just a fun way to play with all the shades in this palette. Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade Bible, which was the crease color we used, and I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of that with the same brush, the O1 brush, and I'm just gonna define that crease a little bit more Okay, awesome. And then next, I'm going to line my eyes. Let's see if I have my my handy dandy liner. Okay, we're gonna use the Fenty Beauty liner. I don't think I'm a fan of this one. I think this one transfers a lot on me, so I'm going to have to set it with an eyeshadow just to keep it from transferring. I'm gonna run this onto as close to my lash line as I can. The pros of this liner is that it's really, really black and really wet, so it's real intense, like as soon as you apply it, you don't really have to layer it a lot. You get a lot of great payoff. The problem I find with this liner is it transfers so much on me. Every single time I wear it throughout the day, I've got liner in my crease. So to prevent that, I'm going to take a dark shadow and just set the eyeliner. Now ideally, you would use a black one to keep the integrity of the black liner because if we go in with a lighter shadow, of course it's gonna make the liner look a little lighter. <laughs> Since I don't know that I have black, what we are gonna do is we're gonna see what the next darkest shade is that I have. Okay, so the next darkest shade that I have is this shade right here in the palette. It's a really dark espresso brown and do I have a really small brush here in front of me? I don't. Okay, we're gonna have to be creative here. So I'm gonna grab this brush. This is by reference the P07E. And isn't it so cute? It is like the perfect precision crease brush. Um, because it's so tiny and dense, it's really gonna pack on a lot of color and define that crease. But I'm gonna use the tip of it and I'm just gonna run it on top of that liner really just like setting that liner. If you imagine setting your foundation with powder, it's kind of what I'm doing right now with this liner. This is just so that I don't have to clean up any, or so I don't get any black liner in my crease later. So next we're gonna line the lower lash line and I actually did something fun in that picture. I lined it with this fun color here called Aura, but I placed a brown, like a deep brown liner down first so that it was really dark. Um, so I'm gonna use this 
This is by uh, Pixie. It's the Endless Silky Eye Pencil in the shade Bronze Beam. And I'm gonna run this right on my lower lash line midway through. And then I'm gonna take that same brush that we just used. I'm gonna pick up some of that shade Aura and we are just going to kind of run it over that liner. I think when it comes to this formula, like this real chunky glittery shadow, Anastasia Beverly Hills has a great formula. That is a really difficult type of formula to master. Most of the time I feel like they're real chunky glittery. You don't get a lot of color payoff, but hers, I think you get a really good color payoff. Okay, the next I'm gonna apply a little bit mascara and I'll be right back. For my cheeks, I was wearing the Hourglass Incandescent Electra Blush and I'm using a BK Beauty 104 brush for that. I'm just gonna dust this on the cheeks. Okay, so now let's talk about the lip products because that is what I got so many DMs asking me about. So I had two products on my lips. I had the um, MAC Ginger Rose Lipstick, and then I had the NYX Butter Gloss um, Tiramisu. And this was the product that I think really shined through because I had had the lipstick on earlier, but I had kind of blotted it off and I had just touched up with the NYX right before taking that picture. So what I like to do with this lipstick, it's really pigmented. So what I like to do is just kind of like dot it on my lips and then blot them together. I don't want to like layer it and layer it on. I really want a really kind of diffused blotted lip look and I don't need to put any lip liner. Then I'm going to layer it this butter gloss uh, over it. This is probably my favorite gloss at the moment. It is so nice. On top of a lipstick, it really has great color. Worn alone, it gives you color, but it shears out pretty quickly. I would say over after an hour or so, it's sheer with a tint. So it's just a really easy product to have in your bag to, to just throw on. So this was the look in the photo that I got so many questions and compliments on. I thought I would share it because I did promise you guys another look with this palette and you happen to love that one. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do wanna thank Colleen Rothschild for partnering with me on this video. Um, I will have all the information on the friends and family promotion in the description box below. So be sure and check that out. If if you have any questions about any of her products, leave them in the comment section below. Definitely check out my other Colleen Rothschild videos where I go more in depth on kind of like the full gamut of products that I use and love. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.